Hey everyone, the Dries here for Vision Optional. I know it's been a while, but we are back. And in this video, I'm going to briefly talk a little bit about a couple of my favorite features introduced in the new JAWS 2021. So let's get to it. A metallic blue globe is seen spinning in the center of the screen on a dark blue background. The words Vision Optional slide in each side. Below, braille letters appear one by one, spelling out Vision Optional. So let's get into my two favorite features in the new JAWS 2021 edition that was released back in November. So the first one is the voice assistant. Now you may be thinking Siri or Alexa, but this is not quite there yet. It's still a work in progress and as such, there's it's limited as to what it can do at this stage. So the first thing you have to identify is whether or not you have the checkbox checked in the startup wizard, which allows usage data to be sent over to Freedom Scientific. If you don't, that's OK. We'll we'll get that straight now. But in order to use the voice assistant, you will need to check this box. If you don't want to go through the whole process of navigating to the help menu and opening the startup wizard from there, you can simply try to access the voice assistant by hitting the key combination insert alt spacebar or jaws key alt spacebar and i'll do that now voice assistant dialog you must enable anonymous usage data collection in order to use this feature do you want to enable anonymous usage data collection no button to activate press spacebar and here's the dialog that pops up when you do not have that box checked i'm going to tab to yes Yes button to activate press spacebar alt plus y and hit enter enter the voice assistant is starting up try your voice command again to move to an item press the arrow keys so now we have this box checked and we can access the uh, voice assistant however you can toggle the speak command on and off by hitting insert alt spacebar twice let's check that out Sharky is listening. So now the voice assistant is listening and it listens for a wake command similar to the Hey Siri. When it listens for the Hey Siri, this one listens for, if you're running Zoom text, it listens for Zoomy, but we're not running Zoom text right now. So what it listens for now is a word that I'm about to say followed by a command to check the time. Sharky. Sharky. What time is it? 7.05 p.m. So that's a quick way to check the time. You don't have to hit the insert and F12 key every time to check the current time. Let's see if it checks the date. Sharky. Sharky. What is the date? 7.06 p.m. Monday, February 15th, 2021. All right, so we see that works and it only wants to give me the information I request when I talk a little sweet to it, apparently. <laughs> so you can toggle this also. It's not listening for that wake um, word by hitting again, insert, alt and spacebar twice. Sharky is no longer listening. All right, now Sharky is no longer listening. So in order to bring Sharky up again, you would have to hit insert alt and spacebar once. And that tells the computer that you're trying to activate the voice assistant. And this way you can do it without having that uh, wake word, it, listening for that wake word. A lot of people don't like that due to privacy concerns and so on. And I completely understand. Now, when you're first using this, you might want to check out the user guide for tips on how to use it and some of the common commands that it can uh, perform. In order to do this, you would just tell Sharky to um, help. So let's do that. Help. Once you pick a topic and press enter on it, use the F6 key to move to and read the information window. JAWS 2021 help, contents page, tree view, voice assistant quick open, one item. And this also works if you say, what can I tell you? It will pop up this same thing. So you just hit F6 to move to the content pane. F6 page has eight headings and four links. Voice assist command comma. And you can check out some of the content by going by heading with the letter H. 
Voice commands heading level 2. General voice commands heading level 3. You get the idea. So let's close out of this with Alt F4. Alt F4. To move to an item, press the arrow keys. We're back on our desktop. Now, another feature that I really like is being able to adjust the system volume as well as the JAWS volume. Instead of having to hit Windows B and going to the notification area at the bottom right corner of the screen, navigating to speakers and adjusting it that way, you can simply use layer commands now. So for example, if I wanted to adjust the volume of the system, the, the um, system sounds, I can do this by hitting insert space bar. Space. Now I'm in this layer command, so I'm going to hit the letter V, Victor. V, volume. And I'm going to hit the letter S. S, system. So S for system, and now I can use my up and down arrow to um, adjust the volume versus 97 percent 95 percent 93 percent 90 90 99 percent 101 percent all right i like it all the way up here so i'm gonna escape out of this escape and now we're going to use the layer command to adjust the jaws volume and we can do that with insert space bar again to enter into the layer commands space i'm going to hit v for volume v volume j for jaws j jaws and now I can use, again, my up and down arrow keys to adjust the volume of the screen reader. VJ 82, 80%, 78%, 80%, 82%, 84%, 86%. Now I'm going to escape out of this. Escape, escape. So this was a just, just a quick video on two of the really cool features I thought were introduced into JAWS 2021. Hope you enjoyed the video. A page appears. Subscribe and follow us on Facebook, Anchor FM, and Twitter at Vision Optional.